Hello all, my name is Krish Nayak and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, today in this specific video, we are going to discuss about a very important topic which is called as LLM hallucination. This topic can be very important for your interviews because nowadays everybody is thinking about building RAG applications and my plan after this specific video is to create some set of videos related to RAG, different types of RAG, how RAG can be implemented. But before we go ahead towards RAG, you really need to understand this topic, what is LLM hallucination. I hope everybody may have used ChatGPT, you may have used Cloud, you may have used different kind of, or let's say Google Gemini, different, different AI assistants you have used. And whenever you ask some specific set of questions, sometimes you get answers that may not be factually right. And sometimes LLM may generate their own answer as they like, right? I hope everybody has seen this kind of scenarios. So this is nothing but this is basically called as LLM is hallucinating. You know, they are trying to give, or they are making their own answers, even though the answer is not actually correct, right? So in this specific video, we'll talk more about LLM hallucination. How do you prevent it? You know, whenever you are developing a any kind of applications, let it be a RAG application or a generative AI application. So let me go ahead and discuss this step by step. Uh, we will make sure to, I'll, I'll make sure to teach you this particular topic in a way that everybody should be able to understand things, right? So LLM hallucination, uh, as you all know that every LLM model, so let's say that this is my LLM model, okay? Now, whenever we talk about LLM model, every LLM model has a training cutoff date, okay? Training cutoff date. That basically means, let's say right now, in OpenAI, we have something called a GPT-5 model, right? And this GPT-5, let's consider that the training date is 1st August 2025, okay? So let's say that this is the date that we have specifically for this particular model. When we say training cutoff date, that basically means whatever data we had before 1st of August, with all those datas, we have trained this specific model, okay? And the recent new data, the LLM will not have any clue or any idea about it. So whenever I ask any questions to this LLM, it will be able to generate the output. And if I say like anything that I asked before 1st of August, I think it will be able to answer us accurately, accurately, okay? Now, <clears throat> LLM is also some kind of arrogant friends. I have a lot of arrogant friends <laughs> that I have connected to with, you know, in my life. So these are some arrogant friends, okay? What happens is that, now, sometimes I ask some questions through the LLM, okay? And just like my arrogant friend, even though this friend does not know that answer, you know, this person will come first and he'll try to answer this, even though the answer is not factually right, you know. Hey, mujhe ye bhi aata hai. I know this, I know this, hey, this may be this, 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 okay. So let's say if I've asked a question, this person is an expert in AI, you know, and I've asked a question, hey, what is, what is hallucination, okay. What is hallucination? Now, let's say that this arrogant friend does not know the answer. He will try to, even though, tell us some kind of answer over here. Okay. And he will tell the answer in such a way that, you know, <laughs> most of us will start believing it. Okay. Most of us will start believing it because he has said this answer much more in a way that once you understand what he is basically saying, you may think, hey, it may be factually right, you know. And this is what is all about hallucination. Even though the answer is not right, this arrogant friend or my LLM model has anyhow made up that particular answer and given it in front of you, okay. And it will try to give the answer in such a way that whenever we talk about statistics, whenever we talk about factual information, that all information will be available over here, right? When I say statistics, let's say, it will say, hey, 83%, it will probably provide some factual information from some random use case, right? Even though these use cases are not true, okay? 
And this is one of the major problem throughout all the LLMs that is being trained by uh, companies out there, right? So nowadays, <clears throat> you consider any platform, chat GPT, you consider cloud, you even consider Google Gemini, right? What they are doing is that they are trying to integrate with external tools, right? They are trying to integrate with external tools, right? And the main aim of integrating these external tools is that whenever a new kind of information is asked for this kind of models, LLM models, they're not going to go ahead and make up that answer. Instead, they will be having their dependencies on these external tools. These external tools can be a web search tool, it can be a RAG, it can be connected to any kind of databases, it can be connected to, let's say, search engine, any third party APIs it may be connected to. That basically means now the LLM is not taking the responsibility in answering the answer directly. Instead, it is being dependent on some kind of external tool out there, right? Now, I hope everybody is able to understand hallucination, right? Now, what are, why, why this hallucination actually happens, you know? So one of the major reason I've told you, obviously there is a training cutoff date, okay? Training cutoff date. Let's say my LLM is not being trained my LLM is not being trained with sufficient amount of data. Sufficient amount of data. So this scenario may also happen, right? I was just seeing as soon as GPT-5 got launched, you know, someone was trying to answer, hey, Krish, what, uh, hey, LLM, what is 8.11 minus 8.90, okay? Or sorry, 8.9, okay? So this kind of questions were also basically getting asked and LLM was not able to generate the output. It was giving a wrong answers. Why this is basically happening? Because similar kind of examples the LLM may have not been sufficiently trained. So there also it is starting to hallucinate. It is giving you some wrong answers. It will generate a kind of answer. It will say that, hey, this is the right answer. And then suddenly you will say that, hey, you're not telling it right. Then it will start thinking and it will have some kind of, you know, back off theorem, uh, which may be applied out there for the LLM models. And it will try to give some other answers out there, right? So that is the main reason now how do we go ahead and prevent this llm hallucination right see <clears throat> one basic example for companies you know see when llm is giving you some wrong answer it is fine but when you're developing some applications right this kind of generative ai application or ai agentic ai applications or you're developing ai agents for companies right it is always better that whenever you try to use some kind of llm you try to integrate this LLM with external rack system, right? So let's say that this is my vector store. It can be a vector databases. And this is what you are basically connected to. So whenever a question is asked to an LLM related to any info, right? I'm not talking about public. I'm, I'm talking about companies, right? It is always good that LLM is connected to a rack system. Here I have a vector databases and for this particular vector databases, we may get some kind of context information and then this LLM will be able to generate the output, right? And that is where your RAG system come into picture, right? RAG comes into picture because we do not want LLM to hallucinate. If it does not know some kind of answers, it is just going to go ahead and some call some kind of tools, external databases out there and it can also call this vector databases that is available within the company. So here now LLM is only not dependent on generating the answer, but it is also getting, it is also dependent on asking, hey, do I have any tools or anything binded with along with me, right? And that is what it makes uh, uh, LLM hallucination to probably get reduced. You cannot remove completely right? You cannot remove LLM hallucination completely. Let's say that if I've asked any kind of questions and from this specific tools, we did not get any context. Then also LLM will not keep quiet. It will take this specific context and it will generate the output. Okay. And it will generate the output. It will create its own output. It will create its own output. Okay. So we cannot 100% remove hallucination. Instead, we can reduce it. We can reduce it by 
let's say 20 to 30 percent we can reduce it to 20 to 30 percent in most of the cases we may uh, be able to improve our accuracy by 5 to 10 percent right so this kind of scenarios basically happen so that is the reason now everybody is focusing in moving towards rag application wherein they are creating retrievers they are creating agents which will be able to do the task and that task whatever these agents or retriever are doing will provide the necessary context to the llm to generate the output now llm is only not generating the output based on its wish but instead based on the response that it is being able to get from the tools or the databases now this is just a 5 to 10 minutes video on making you understand about llm hallucination the reason why i'm making this specific video is that it is very simple in the next video i will be focusing on rag applications one of the major concern about llm it's specifically llm hallucination it's not like only rag is one of the way you can also go ahead and use llm fine tuning you can also go ahead and use llm fine tuning technique but again understand this is a expensive process this is a expensive process okay with basic prompt engineering also you'll not be able to do rag is one of the very good solution and along on top of rag you can also go ahead and use human verification human verification like we can provide a feedback based on the answers that is being generated by the llm so yeah this was a simple video on understanding about llm hallucination uh, as we go ahead we will talk about different kind of rags how to build rag application you know uh, how do we integrate it again with the help of lang graph we will continue the playlist that we have already defined so yes this was it from my side i'll see you in the next video thank you